this video today we are here at a very noisy but very beautiful location to do an initial test of the water lily portable hydroelectric generator i think this thing has the potential to be very very useful in a grid down or off off grid situation and we're going to check it out coming up next here on survival on purpose Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for trustworthy information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name's Brian. Thanks for joining me. So as I said, uh, the folks at the Water Lily um, Company were kind enough to send me one of their water lilies and a wind lily um, accessory that goes with it we'll look at in a different video. So I can check it out and show it to you. And this thing, in my opinion, like I said, has the potential to be very useful in a you know, off-grid situation, whether it's short-term or long-term. Um, I don't think you're going to power a refrigerator with this, but it definitely is supposed to be able to charge, um, you know, mobile devices and smaller things like tablets or laptops or a GPS, things of that nature. Power bank, you can charge a power bank with this to, to power your other stuff later. So seems like a pretty good concept. I, I thought when I saw this, I thought this would be something I really like to check out. And they reached out to me actually and asked me if I'd be interested in looking at it. And I said I would. And that's what we're going to do. But first, you know we got to pay the bills here so i want to give a big shout out to my uh number one very first original sponsor for the channel here the folks at click belt i'm gonna cut to that footage here because it's not a good place to show you and then we'll come back and do some of that water lily stuff this video is sponsored by my friends at clickbelts.com where you can save 15 percent by using the coupon code sop15 at checkout click belts feature genuine cobra buckles and they are sewn right here in the usa in the great state of texas they've even got the really cool tsa friendly poly cobra buckle now so if you're looking for a very very strong very cool belt i encourage you to check out the folks at clickbelts.com don't forget use the coupon code sop15 to save 15 percent okay well with at least a couple of bills paid now i'm going to go ahead and cut to some uh, footage uh, uh, in the uh, worldwide studio uh, where we talk about the specs of this thing um, because it's a little quieter a little easier to do that okay it's a little quieter here maybe i can go over real quickly the specs of this thing just kind of give you a quick rundown of how it works and then we'll jump back out to the river and see how well it actually works so first of all this is the water lily hydro turbine it is 2.85 pounds or 1.3 kilograms in weight and the, the dimensions are seven inches in diameter and three inches thick those of you still stuck in that old metric system, that is 180 millimeters by 76 millimeters. And it's available in two configurations. It's available with a USB connector or a 12 volt connector. I chose the 12 volt connector for the simple reason that it, it comes with this kind of a, you know, I call it a cigarette lighter connector, but a PowerPoint connector. So if you've got one of the things you stick in your car to charge USB, you can stick it right in here and charge your USB. But it gives you, I think, a little more versatility than a straight USB one. And you can actually daisy chain. You can get adapters and daisy chain and set multiple of these things up. So if you really had a need for more power than this thing is going to put out, and you had a little, little larger budget because they're a couple of hundred bucks a piece, then you could, um, you could string several of them together across a creek or a river and put out a lot more power, So um, that, which is pretty cool. The minimum water flow required to generate power from this is 0.7 miles per hour. Uh, that's one, kilo, one kilometer per hour. And the flow for peak power output, which again is 15 watts, is going to be 7.2 miles per hour or 11 and a half kilometers per hour. It features a 10 foot charging cable. So you got, you can get this thing 10 foot out into the uh, water flow before you wind up having to, uh, <laughs> having to get every, keep everything dry. And then it also, when you buy the wind, the water lily turbine, it comes with this turbine, a 12 foot of, they're calling this paracord. It's really not paracord. It comes with 12 foot of cordage. It comes with four of these 300 millimeters or 30 centimeter, I guess, um, stainless steel lanyards with a little carabiner here so you can bounce this thing out and a rope tensioner which I don't use because I know how to tie knots uh, real quick the regular price on this is 199 bucks but right now at least at the time of this video I don't know how long that'll last um, it is on sale for 159.99 and if you use the uh, just the link in the video description below you'll get a good deal and I'll they'll throw me a couple of bucks for recommending it so just to be fair about that now Let's talk about a couple of other quick things and we'll take you back to the river. There's a couple of different ways of using this. If you want to use it with one rope, because you can only get to one side of the river or one, one, one side, then you pretty much do four here and kind of let it flow out there. As you'll see, that, that's a little, little challenging sometimes when you're, when you're depending on where you find the flow. Or 
if you can get to both sides of the of the water flow which is the recommended it's actually preferred method you would probably want to do it like this so your your cords coming out the side but that'll give you an opportunity to kind of balance it in the flow but one other thing i want to show you just a little teaser and then we'll get back to the river because we're not, we're not going to look at it in this video because i don't want this to be a 45 minute video they also have an additional add-on wind lily turbine which is pretty stinking cool and what this does this transfers this from a water turbine to a wind turbine a wind generator that's pretty much it and by the way the the, the wind lily bundle is regular 299.99 right now 239.99 i don't know how long that sale is going to last but that's kind of the specs and details not a lot to it basically this thing spins right here and it generates power just like a um just like a turbine in a dam i guess in a in a, in a reservoir and it sends it through here and it comes out the end so let me just give you a, a little little rundown of what we're going to do here when we get back to the river so i bought this uh, little little usb uh, power meter off the old internet and we're going to run um basically plug this into a little car charger thing plug this in here and then plug the phone in here and this will measure the power going through i'm going to try to do that with you know <laughs> with no cameraman so i'm flying solo on this one so we'll see how, how it works out but uh at least that'll give us some sort of an actual number which is about as scientific as you're going to get from me right now so now let's get back down to the river and get to doing some of that water turbine stuff okay so as you saw we got four cables we got this thing rigged for a one point anchor because it's too wide for me to get across here. So I've got it hooked up to a power meter. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to put this thing in place and then I'll bring the camera over here and let you see the charger and we'll see how well this thing's doing. Okay, I don't know if you can see it there, but it's, the, the blade's barely spinning because the, the, the current here. So the challenge is finding somewhere you can anchor, to anchor it upstream in direction of flow so it doesn't get out of the flow. because. You'll notice if you pull it over here in the uh, in the flow, you can see it starts spinning a lot faster. And obviously, the faster it spins, the more power it's going to put out. I think what I'm going to try to do is hold it here. Go ahead and set the power meter up. Hold it here, and then I'll give you a, a look at the power meter. You can see the phone is not charging right now. Okay, now we got it over here where it's turning, moving. You can see that it is the phone is charging now. Can you see that? A little charger there. And we're looking at about 3.96 volts or amps or charging volts. I guess it's volts, but can you see that? Four now. And we're, we're turning pretty good here. So, there you go. Okay, well, that was a actual use, usage test of the water lily water turbine and let me just give you my my thoughts on this thing kind of kind of wrap this up and, and as, a, as a reminder we are going to take a look at the wind lily in a future video but got to say it worked as you can see on the little gauge here if you can get it in the flow where the water's flowing strong um, but as you can see it was a little little bit of a struggle to to get it to stay in the flow and because just maybe the, the situation I had to deal with, it was really good flow, but it was a pretty narrow flow between these rocks. And to get to really get it to stay in there, I almost had to kind of hold it way out to the side like this and just kind of kind of stand there and do it. And I didn't really have any way to anchor it. I tried anchoring it just with one point, like, like so, you know, upstream, and it just kept pushing it off to the side of the flow. So I really think that this is gonna be best to use this uh, in a place that you can get to opposite sides of the stream where you can really kind of brace it out there with two two different angles you might even use four to put two up high and two low you know to really if you got trees and stuff to tie to to really keep it in place so i think keeping it in place was going to be a uh, would be the, the biggest obstacle or the biggest thing you need to really be concerned with to get the maximum power out of it but bottom line it works again it's going to be very situation dependent on, on how easy it is to do but if um if you needed power and you had a way to uh, had had water. Uh, this this will get it done. It actually does work, and I thought it was a pretty ingenious device. So we've looked at a lot of different solar stuff and different things like that. But this is the first time I've looked at anything that is just a, a water water generator. So it was pretty cool. And what's really cool is uh, I actually made this video downstream from the the ruins of a um, used to be an, an old um, I guess it was a textile mill, 
and they used the water to uh, power the equipment there. So that was pretty cool. So anyway, that's the Water Lily. And thanks again to the folks at Water Lily for sending this to me so I could show it to you. And again, right now they're on sale. Uh, probably pretty good, pretty good discount. And if you use the link in the video description below, and I'll try to put it right here, then um, you know, you'll help benefit the channel a little bit. They'll throw me a couple of bucks, so I appreciate it. Um, just being straight, straight with you about that. So anyway, I hope this has been helpful. Uh, again, stay tuned to the channel for uh, another look at this thing with the with the wind lily, w wind lily, and see uh, how well that works. So um, and it's March right now, so we got some good winds to, to play with. So anyway, I hope this has been helpful. I'll, I'll stop rambling. I really appreciate the support. Once again, my name's Brian. You're watching survival on purpose remember survival is not an accident so be prepared i'll see you next time